cried a river over you. Hello, I'm Martin Davis. The outlook for the next hour on Light Lunch, Davina McCall, two stars from Heartbeat and new pop sensation, Catch. Cue titles. I'm Mel. <laughs> Hello, I'm Sue. And now, over to our Euro correspondents in a disused Gouda warehouse in Utrecht. Hello, I'm Wonder Bra Von Trix. Howdy dear, I'm Margarita Van Tong. I started out as a roadie for Ace of Base. And I was discovered dancing around the pool in a Tel Aviv discotheque. But the pole had to go back to Warsaw without me. I really like stroky Persian cats and perspex. Mmm, whereas I am into ham hot dogs and globes. We're checking out what is hot and what is not. Coming to you live from a warehouse in Rotterdam. Why? Because we love you. I have a heart for you. That's what I'm saying and what a hot show we got coming your way today. Making with the food. She's funky. She's coming all the way from MTV to Crazy Mad TV with Darren Day. Give it up. Shake it about. It's Davina McCall. <laughs> Davina is used to seeing men in their pants at 3 o'clock in the morning when she presented God's gift. So, good preparation for working with Darren, don't you think? Yes. Shrimp fun. Yes. Yeah, and there's more. We've got three teenage boys with bread and butter pudding and a floppy fringe. No, it's not one of my regular nights in. <laughs> <laughs> no, we've got putting in a song from Tip Top Team Tiraways. Catch! They're watching! Catch! Right. Ah! Catch! Not Catch the Musical. Catch! the band. <laughs> they are raunchy young rock boys with a fancy for the old women. Gouda. But sorry, Margarita, 35's about their age limit. <laughs> <laughs> Hit it, Strumpha! <laughs> Swing with me, that's enough of Euro comedy and comedy whatsoever. Comedy's dead now. Now, on today's show from the hit series Heartbeats, we're going to be having our colours felt by Mark Jordan, who plays PC Phil Bellamy. And we'll be having our pints pulled by Trisha Penrose, who plays saucy barmaid Gina Ward. Now, Heartbeats, of course, is a fine example of hard and gritty police British drama, or even gritty police uh, British drama. You're spill speaking, I'm saying, no, but also mine sounds frightening like uh, Sean Connery. Yes, it's Sean Like Sean to the island, for she. After all, uh, last Sunday's episode pulled no punches. It was gritty, it was raw. It had a tough portrayal of a dog trained to pinch balls. It was very gritty. And a young boy stealing a postcard from an old man and then being let off without warning. We think those frenzied and frenetic Yankee cop shows could learn a thing or two from Heartbeat's easygoing, gentle Yorkshire folk I approach. Think so. For instance, you could have, you know, Cagney and Lacey could become chintzy and Lacey. Compulsive drama, that'd be. Homicide, life on the streets could become seaside, life on Whitby Marina. And uh, <laughs> Starsky and Hutch could become blinking shop and chickenly with their cool dude informant, Hookie Badger, who runs a tea <laughs> shop in Weddish Bay. Hawaii Five O could become Batley and Spent 2 and 6, in which the dashing police captain celebrates every arrest with the catchphrase Get to tea on, Dano! So, on today's show, we'll be saying, heartbeat, it's crim up north. 
Now, if you, what on earth well, was I that? I can do that with these shoes. You see, that is the power with new shoes. of built-up surgical shoes. You can just go like that. Isn't okay. that the coolest thing? If I was in a boy band, you see, I could go like that as well. I don't do that. Good. Because I don't have the jennies for it. Keep it clean. Now, if you'd like to ask Mark if he likes dressing up in uniform, or Trisha, whether Nick Berry ever played his number one single, Every Loser Wins, strumming, strumming. gently on his guitar for the cast. Then call us on 09904 lunch if you have an alphabetical phone. Or in 60 speak, that's 099045. RPMs, it really is the latest thing, and we now call them singles. 86. Shillings to run up a tweed, A-line, maxi skirt. 24. Hours from Tulsa, that Jean Pitney's one cool cat. Brother. <laughs> Brother. <laughs> Truly real. Or you can fax us if you want. You don't have to, but if you'd like, then just uh, dial in on 09902 lunch if you have an alphabetized fax. Or in York, that's an excellent mime. It's Cheers. worthy of Jack Lecoq Every day I himself. do this mine. Unfortunately, it's strangely like inducing a cow to give birth rather than a fact. <laughs> okay. Come to me, heifer. Come to me, heifer. <laughs> so, whether you're birthing it's a heifer... It's paper. It's the paper spilling out of the machine. What kind of fact machine do you have? Crashing on. Let's crash on in Yorkshire speak. That is 090025. Bomb cakes and parking. 86. There's no so queer as full. 24. Hey, up our shell is done up like a right bobby dazzler. Now, <laughs> let's put those accents in a bin marked never to be heard again. It it gives me great and enormous pleasure to introduce today's all-boy rocking and rrr sensation. Sometimes they're sweet, sometimes they're savoury, but they always need a good filling. Their bottoms are made of pastry, and I can't wait to have a slice of them. Please welcome Steve, Matt, Dizzer and Dan of the Brotherhood of Flan! <laughs> Is one of telly's top babes. She sent pulses racing across Europe. When she flirted with rock stars on MTV, she got couples snogging on God's gift, and she got down to her bra and knickers on the cover of FHM. But don't worry, I'm keeping my belt firmly fastened as I welcome the lovely and slightly raunchy Davina McCall! <laughs> Welcome. Slightly raunchy. Yeah, very. Thank you, thank you. Very. Good lipstick. Mm. Good nails. I'm ready for kissing. Matchy, matchy. Do you like? Very strong. Yeah. Okay. What, what, what are you cooking for today? Um, today we're going to do a little uh, salmon pate with avocado, tomato and mozzarella salad and rocket and parmesan. Very simple. Beautiful. No today more. we're going to have salmon pate with avocado, mozzarella and tomato. It's my pate and I'll cry <laughs> if I want to. Cry if I want to. <laughs> Cry if I want to. <laughs> you would cry too if it happened to you. Hey! <laughs> now, Dolly, what, what ingredients mm, okay. are we using? I'm just going to put them in this big bowl. Super. Uh, we're using half a tin of, uh, smo uh, of salmon. Smoke. Smoked salmon. Smoked half a tin of salmon, red right. salmon. A bit of. Um, still with all the bones in. Still there. with all the bones in, but they're not Lovely. bones that get. In your throat. Okay. They're fine ones, these ones. Okay. So a bit of um, balsamic cream cheese. No hob today? No hob. Quite Quite a away. Not go. so hot in the kitchen. A little bit Groovy. of uh, Greek yogurt to Lovely. bind it all together. Okay. A little bit like that. Maybe a little, little bit more. And the secret ingredient, you see, this is what makes it a little bit different. Lime juice. Okay, just chuck that in there. <laughs> and all over your trousers. And chuck that in there. And then While mash it with a okay. fork. Lovely. Now, they do say yes. that you're supposed to blend it. But I like mashing it with a fork. Yeah. Who's they and do we care? No, do we, we don't. Do we don't. Look Good. Your tattoo. Do you like it? Yeah, I'm going to be asking you about your tattoos a little bit oh. later on. They agree. Good, I'm glad. Yeah. Yes, I look forward to that. <laughs> cool. <laughs> cool. Now, um, of all the rock stars that you have met, because you have met In the world. a fair few I have, on your yeah. old MTV I have. jaunts, yeah. who's the hunkiest? Well, there are so many. But one of the hunkiest, I thought, was, I don't know, has anybody here seen Boogie Nights? Yeah. Does anybody yeah. like Mark and Mark? Yeah. yeah. Mar There's a bloke there. Yeah. Okay. Um, Marky Mark. Mark. Marky Mark. Mark. Um, I didn't really like his records, I have to say. He didn't but... like the Beastie Boys? Um, no. Mm. Oh, wasn't he? No. <laughs> oh, that's desperate. That's, no, that's desperate. Okay. We'll, we'll it's just cut um, it out. Loads of teenagers five. are watching, no. and um, I have made a total joke of <laughs> myself. No. I knew that. But, um, 
Yes, he's in the Beatles. Beatles. Yeah. Um, but he's quite cute. And I like the boy bands. I do have to say that. They were very sweet. Like people like take that when they were together because that's how old Aww. I am. No, they're lovely. No, really? really. Robbie's great. Really? Yeah, he's a yeah, real laugh. He's hunky. Robbie's yeah. great. And Jason Orange. Jason. Anybody like no. No. Okay. Yes, a couple of girls there. Okay. Howard. Good, scored. Howard? No, no, not Howard for me, no. Look, I've really got to get in there. All right, like have, you, have you got a have you got a, a top tip for us, Davina? Oh, ow. Oh, oh, oh I'm sorry, scrapey. Oh, sorry. Um, have I got a top tip? Yeah. Yes, I have. Um, it's nothing to do with this. It's to do with you know when you do sauces, pasta sauces like with tomatoes and sometimes a bit of tuna and stuff like that. Yep. And you want to put some, make it creamier. Yeah. Yep. Put in cream cheese. Don't use cream. Oh, use cream, cream cheese. cheese. It's very nice. Okay. Oh. Cool. You see? You see? The Roger right. Devine McCall has spoken. Thank you. Now, S <laughs> Sue, do you know how policemen pay for their equipment? Of course. With truncheon vouchers, Mel. <laughs> Whip them into a frenzy. Can I have a frenzy, lads? One, two, three. Friends for me. Friends. Yeah. Friends. Yeah. It comes to something when you're begging for applause. You're begging the audience to join with you there. Now, to my right, we have it, Dorothy. That's right. How are you yes. doing, Dorothy? Very well, thank you. Now, today we're kind of investigating first singles that people bought. What was, your, what was the first record you bought? Well, as far as I can remember, it was The Black Bottom and The Charleston. The Black Bottom? Yes. <laughs> sort of sounds like an yes. S&M release, but we won't go into that. <laughs> so that was at The Charleston. Did you used to jig about to The yeah. Charleston? Or rather, yes. Were you, you, you a dab hand at the old flicky leg Charleston? Oh, yes. Flicky leg I sense a little bit of the magic yeah. has not died out there. Oh. <laughs> I'm quite tempted to get you up and give us a jig, but I, I won't. Because no, you've got three, right. there's three generations of your family here yes. today. Yes, yes. And over to my left we have... Cynthia. Hi, Cynthia. What was Hi. the first record you ever bought? It was um, Red Tails in the Sunset by Tab Hunter. That's passed no, over. No. That's, that's <laughs> kind of like a small cloud, just passed over yes. the horizon and vanished. Now, who was Tab Hunter? I don't know, just a male singer. Right. He was funky. Okay, <laughs> so he was a bit of a one-hit wonder. He's probably gone now, I don't know. He's probably gone into the, into the red it's, sunset, yeah, the yeah. red sail yeah, on the sunset or whatever. Yeah. Now, this is your daughter over here on my extreme, right? Yep. What's your name? Rebecca. Hi, Rebecca. What was the first... You are so young, it's probably going to be the prodigy or something, isn't it? No, or something I've never even heard of. It was probably Lion King or something like that. <laughs> now, come on, come on. I can't remember. Love yourself, respect yourself. Come on, don't, don't buy the Lion remember. King. The light is just like a Disney Dion or something. I don't know. Something mellow moods, light. Light and breezy. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Respect to you all. Good to have three generations. Pressure's on you to have a baby, my love, so you can have four. <laughs> Come on, get get breeding now. Come on. Right. Hello there. Hello. How are you doing? Are you I'm Rachel? Fine. No, Helen. No, Helen. I'm this so is sorry. Rachel. Hello, Rachel. Hello. I'm Sarah. Now, spooky lads. Identical triplets. Not quite. <laughs> Look at that now. Come on. Look, that is not that much. is a crushing similarity, isn't it? Did you play lots of pranks at school where people got you confused for one another? Oh, yeah. All the time. Because the likeness is unreal, isn't it? It's just, it's like, you know, a photocopy of one another. Now, what, what, what were the first singles you bought? Russ Abbott. Russ Abbott. Atmosphere. atmosphere. <laughs> so, you were the three that bought it. What yeah, atmosphere? I love a happy party with an atmosphere. Oh, let me take you there. You and I go dancing it's in brilliant, the cool it? night <laughs> air. Ross, I've made you some money there by saying your lyrics, so everyone should be well pleased. Now, thanks for that, laddies. I'm going to crash on here. There's a chocolate truncheon to be witnessed. <laughs> <laughs> Unwrap the chocolate truncheon. OK, here we go. Oh, oh, I don't know if I can. Was kneecapping the cameraman. That is... <laughs> <laughs> OK, I'm sorry. <laughs> that is a Channel 5 or even Channel 9 <laughs> evening show waiting to happen, isn't it? It's a disgusting. cartoon version of the chocolate truncheon will probably be appealing in Sweden very soon. <laughs> that was my rather sister move. Hello, what's your name? That's Stuart. Stuart. Hello Stuart. there. Stuart. Yes. You bought a... P well, interesting cake. It didn't turn out quite as I intended. And because what is it supposed to be of? Well, it's meant to be of Peter Mandelson, so you can dismember him and things. He's had a very naughty accident around the nethers, <laughs> haven't they? That's what happens on the tube. Is it? <laughs> yes, there you go. Yes, so yes. they say. I'm going to quickly usher to the band and ask very briefly, lads, Stephen, featured artist, <laughs> what was the first single you bought? Um, Walt Disney's King of the Wild Frontier. David well, I Pocket. think there's, there's a, a bit of a Disney pairing going on here today. There could be a little bit of a love match going on. Lads, I don't have time to ask you sing oh, singles. Oh, I know. Oh, so I have to ask you later in my dressing room, naked. <laughs> <laughs> now, Melanie, where do policemen live? Let's be Avenue. Oh, 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 that was... Go, go, leave me. Crack Sorry, Devine. Sorry, Devine. Hi. Sorry, Devine. How are you doing? Just dropping my basil. Cool. 
Already. Fresh basil, very Good. important. You've made your, your, your party. I've made my party. Beautiful. Dress that with a bit of olive oil after. Uh, makes it really nice. Super. And then, uh, so simple, just chop up the tomatoes, chop up a bit of enormous mozzarella. Get this your is, this is a bit of a sort of tricolore. 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 Yeah. Uh, Lovely. Get your avocado. Preferably get... Preferably. <laughs> preferably. Preferably put your teeth in before you talk. <laughs> and... Um, Chop up your avocado, which somebody else has peeled for you, which is really nice because that's the nightmare job. Yes, it. trying to get it out of its skin. Cosmetically, that's a very beautifully peeled avocado. Well, I don't know if anybody can see that. Well that's done, laddie. Camera. It's beautiful. Demina yeah. McCall. Thanks. <laughs> Good skills. Thanks. A few, yeah, Thanks. Smattering of, of applause. A few, there. A few <laughs> skills. A few weak claps for Davina. Now, Davina, vis a vis the rose to two, which is adorning your little wrist bone. Yes, there. that. Was that painful? Um, it was actually very, very painful, but I was slightly smashed when I got it done. I which, thought you weren't allowed to if you which, were plastered. Uh, that even. Well, I'm not going to tell you where I got it done uh, then. Aye. Because, oh, look at that. Great. Very good. Sorry. Sorry. Like I've just made myself there. Well done. Yes, thanks. Beautiful. That was so patronising. <laughs> so patronising. Well done. I need it. encouragement, that though. great. But have you got any other tattoos then? Yes, I have. I've got five in total. <laughs> I've got, yes, thank you. <laughs> where, where are they? Um, that I've got <laughs> horns here. What about the tattoo? <laughs> Do you want to see them? <laughs> Hang on, let Show me just wipe us your hands. Sh is there a towel down there? There is. Show us your horns, Davina. I'm Davina. just wipe it on this dwarf's T-shirt. OK. Um, what? No. Oh, my. <laughs> and... Oh. Never the twain shall meet. They oh, kind of no. go down there, yeah. And wh what about the others? Where, um, where are the others? I've got an alien on my bottom. Right. Uh -huh. And some chilli peppers on my shoulder. Show us. But, yes. <laughs> show us. No, show because us I've Davina. got my special teddy bear pants on and I really don't want to show you those. <laughs> my special teddy bear I don't pants. Want, I don't want to delve. Well, those are my teddy bear pants. Look. Right. <laughs> now, go away. Oh, so dear. Don't worry. Crush okay, that's okay. Crush out the food. Let's talk about the food. Oh, uh, mozzarella, just sort of pining it on here. Lovely. See, I'm really dressing it rather beautifully. Good arranging I, skills. I do there, cook. I, mean. I do cook sometimes. <laughs> it's not very. <laughs> have, you, have you got a Have you got a top tip for us? Um, top tip now. <laughs> yes. Okay, I've got a good one. Um, when you make uh, your own dressing, which yes. I do, sometimes I use an egg in it, right. uh, just the egg yolk, yep. which binds it together. Okay. And also I put a little bit, tiny weeny little bit of caster sugar. You see, it stops it being so, it stops it, it stops you from going like this. <laughs> <laughs> you know when sometimes the dressing makes you go like that? I know. It does often. It does often. Um, so it doesn't, it stops you from going like that. Okay, lovely. Well, listen, join us after the break. We'll be sitting down to lunch with the stars of Heartbeat, Trisha Penrose and Mark Jordan. Davina, yes. Do you want to have a look at them in action? Oh yes. Here we go. Great. Any suspects. Well, I thought it was kids at first, but this is too much for them to carry away. Well, what we'll have to do, Gina, is mount a surveillance operation. What's that then? Well, first stage will be someone uh, volunteering to stay here overnight to observe the perpetrators in action. What? Stay in the pub? It'll have to be done, I'm afraid. I don't think that'll be necessary. Oh, I don't know. I kind of like it. Make me feel safe. Uh, it's all part of the job, Gina. Uh, maybe we should discuss it further tonight. Yeah? Why not? Did you see that sexual tension? <laughs> the chemistry! There's a bit... There's a bit in there, isn't it? I felt it. Between I know. the two guys as well. Chemistry! <laughs> Listen, we'll see you in three! Gives good value. I'm delighted with the money I'm saving with Touchline. Get in touch with Touchline. Call 0800 207 800 now. We care and we could save you money too.
terrible crime. What, you got suddenly into RADA drama school to improve your oh no, there's been a terrible crime acting? <laughs> no, worse than that. No! <laughs> That's going to be an enormous loss to the Mr. Main community. <laughs> That's Mr. Tickle, I have Mr. to explain Mr. that Tickle. because it doesn't look a lot like Mr. Tickle. It looks like a strange, amorphous <laughs> crab. <laughs> Like a rogue crab, perhaps, at the bottom of the Let's Atlantic. Put that throw away. the crab oh, away. Okay. Throw anyway, away. welcome back to Light Lunch. We'll soon be playing Good Cop, Bad Cop with Mark Jordan and Trisha Penrose, two of the stars of Heartbeat. And later on, Top Pop Stop Rocking the Table. Sorry. Later on, Top Pop Sensation Catch will be making pudding and singing for us. But first, we've been rummaging through the quagmire of sex, lies and masking tape that is our personal lives. Yes and swap them for something far more interesting. Today's news. <laughs> and here's what we found. Here's the stuff. The Wombles are making a comeback. Yeah. Might we? Yeah. 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 Yes! About time! They'll still make good use of the things that they find, but the show will be brought right up to date. OK, Great Uncle Bulgaria is now Great Great Uncle Bulgaria. He's been fitted with a hip replacement made out of an old plastic ice cream tub they found on the common. Due to, e <laughs> due to EU regulations on overseas employment, Madame Cholet will only be allowed to appear in three episodes. Yeah. And Orinoco will be seen logging onto the net on a home computer made out of a log. Actually, he has got his own website if you want to log in. It's at orino.co.au. UK. Yeah. Hey. <laughs> They'll also be introducing a Womcopter. So if you spent your childhood wondering what Tobermory's chopper looked like, now <laughs> is your chance to find out. Now there's good and bad, good and bad, yin and yang, dark and light. News for Eddie George. Uh, light Lunch's favourite banker. That's banker. Banker. The good news is he's just received <laughs> notification from the Bank of England that uh, he's to be reappointed as their governor for the next fumph years. Well, the bad news is that they've charged him 25 quid for the letter. Also, <laughs> Oxford University has appointed the chief executive of Channel 5 as a visiting professor in broadcasting media. I expect his lectures will get a very bad reception. And finally, Sunblessed has revealed that stolen bread baskets cost the company £4.5 million pounds a year. That's a lot of dough. Some have dubbed it the Great Tray Robbery. Thieves struck when they yeast expected it. But while the bakers have been losing their loaves, the robbers have been using their loaves and toasting their success. Yep, they must be making a decent crust out of that. Don't stop now, Sue. We're on a roll. Ciabatta, leave it there. Ciabatta, leave it there. I but get to get back to Davina. You better kitchen. for catch her off to the kitchen. <laughs> <laughs> Quick, Crush. think of one more. Crush. There must be the one bread. More. There's got yes, to be something well about cob. <laughs> no. Oh, let's think of one. All right. <laughs> Hello, Davina. Talking of bread. Yes. I've got to mention this. A wheaten loaf. It's a wheaten loaf. If you haven't tried wheat and loaves... It is ruddy good. Actually. It's ruddy good. Yeah. yeah. OK, this is all sort of done. OK, we're nearly there. We're nearly there. We're going to just uh, put a little bit of... I need to put my hands in it there for a minute. I've okay, got clean it. hands. Very important. Is Do that rocket? Hand. It is rocket. OK, um, cool. Nice flavour to it. Would you, would you feed your little doggy this sort of, this what? Sort of thing? Rosie, <laughs> your my dog. dog. <laughs> yeah. She's I got love a my dog. dog Rosie. Yeah. Really a rotador. Is that... What's that? A cross between a... A Rottweiler Rot and a Labrador. Labrador. Yes. Yeah. OK, lovely. Another tip, another tip. Yes? Shave. Shave it. OK, beautiful. <laughs> now, uh... <laughs> and the cheese. <laughs> now, I think somebody said something very rude, and thank goodness everybody couldn't hear that at home. <laughs> Now, Davina, we were talking earlier, obviously, as we were, yes. about uh, you modelling on the front cover of FHM. Yeah, I did, yeah. FHM magazine. Yeah. You were also on the cover of Dogs! <laughs> today! Today! <laughs> Dogs today! <laughs> yes, but... Look, it's you and Rosie! But look at her. Look how beautiful is that dog, everybody. She's lovely. Isn't she gorgeous? Oh, gorgeous. <laughs> With a fringe and... Meow! <laughs> 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 Sweet. Yes, yes. She's got very beautiful eyes. She did get in the way of me, though, a little bit now. I was like, excuse me, Rosie, could you just mind that? Did you give a very serious interview about, you know, dog care? No, that was it. That oh. was it. Oh, I was yes. only allowed to go on the cover. I wasn't allowed, They didn't deem me interesting enough oh, to put on the cover. She's lovely. A little Look bit of a balsamic. All right. And that's it. Cool. I'm going to give out your recipe details, Davina. Oh, you do that. You... you now, what did, did it... You... What I'm am I supposed to show you to how to make a quenelle. Quenelle. This is making a quenelle, lads. Instead of just dumping your pate down on your plate, as, as, as is so often seen, we're going to make a little bit of a quenelle today with two <laughs> spoons. Two oh, spoons. Oh, that's lovely. You go like that, <laughs> and then you just go like that. Couldn't have done it without you. That is a quenelle. Anyway, if you'd like...
like a copy, please send an essay to us at Free Post Lunch. But please state which recipe you'd like, OK? Tune into Force Cell <laughs> on page 330. Or well, you can find us on the World Wide Web at the Channel 4 site Ooh. on the internet. All you have to do is turn on your PC. Just do it. And I don't mean dressing up provocatively for your local Bobby. <laughs> <laughs> Davina, you are... Oh, look, there's a hair in it. Let's just get rid of that. <laughs> oh, hello. Davina, thank you so much for coming. Will <laughs> it's you join my us... pleasure. Will you join us later in the lounge? OK, yeah, I'd love to. Beautiful. Great. See you there. Straight back at you. Hey, band, are you hungry? Mm. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> they fancy I'll Davina the so I'll badly. I'll the hair out. <laughs> <laughs> Audience, are you hungry? Yeah. <laughs> then you know what? Let's just eat some lunch. <laughs> King. That one's called The Death of Glam Rock. Our guests today star in one of the most popular shows ever on the television, Heartbeat. They're regularly watched by a third of the UK's population, usually this third. <laughs> on screen, he has a simmering passion for her, and she has a simmering passion for somebody else. So let's just turn up the heat on the hob of media and see what's bubbling. Please welcome the fantastic Mark Jordan and Trisha Penrose! <laughs> Mark, Where is sorry. It? Hey, what? No, what you what do you think of that? Oh. No one else has done that for you. Thank you. Oh, very, very much. Face. You don't know what it is, yes. Shall we open the gifts now, lads, or shall we leave them for later? Get them open. Uh, Get them open. Now. 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 Simmer mask. They're Gina's oh, earrings. Oh, earrings. Gina's oh. earrings, then. Oh, Not big cute. enough for Pat Butcher, but big enough for Gina. Very <laughs> strong. These are going Lovely. right that on the old loads. Those are mine. They do it for me, lads, these ones. Beautiful. Oh, Welcome to the show, by hey. the way. Nice to be here. Yeah. We've invited you on, but we've slightly seen the, the limelight with the old Should president. Should we keep this for lounge? Yeah, yeah, we'll keep this for lounge. Yeah. I don't want to that one. Now, first of all, welcome and tuck in, why don't you? <gasps> helmet! <laughs> Little helmet there! Hey! Oh. Good to have a helmet Fridge on the table. Oops. Lovely. Oh, uh, missus. Oh, uh, matron. Right, the first one I want to ask you is lyrics of the song, the, the, the sort of theme tune for Heartbeat. I am fanatically involved with, uh, with taping uh, songs on the TV and then listen to the lyrics. Heartbeat. Why do you miss when my baby kisses, kisses me? me. Right. Dun, 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 dun. Heartbeat. Why does a love kiss stay in my memory? Right. Then it goes. La 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 and sing to me love story. So what is the la 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 bit? What is that's what I want to know. There's what, one word we couldn't work there's out. There's a missing lyric. Sounds like really fat. Pass. Really fat. Don't sing me the <sighs> kissing memory. I think it's Willie Pat. Ridley Pat. Really Pat. Ridley. Postman Pat. Postman Pat. Really come to me. I don't know. I don't know. We really don't know. Isn't that terrible? Well, no, it doesn't matter. You don't have to know the lyrics. Ridley too. Pat. Really Pat. Really Pat. He's a mysterious Amazing. sex symbol that perhaps comes in to heartbeats later on in, in the series. Yeah, you, are you a singer, Mark, at all? You Go, get out of it. No way. Can't take no, me no, to, no, 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 no. Can't take me to sing a few of these lyrics, mate. Cool. No, 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 no. Dangling. No, 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 no. Do you not I'm, want to do a re-record of the old Nick Berry? Uh, no, 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 no. I did um, um, a little couple of goes at it and uh, they decided that it was too embarrassing. <laughs> did you really too have a couple of parties that doing that? No, I didn't. I just made that up. Sing for That's me, Mark. Sad. No. It's good no, 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 no. No, I... Audience, do you want to hear Mark sing? Yes! Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Will you sing? Happy, uh, um, what's the tune? You're my darling, you're my dog. No. That's like Rex Harrison. You're just speaking. It's just saying the words. I can't think of any. The one I do at home for my wife is um, Away, away with rum, by gum. With rum, by gum. With rum, by gum. Away, away with rum, by gum. That's the song of the Salvation Army. I won't ask. <laughs> Yeah, that was quality. I don't, I'm not going to ask why you're singing Salvation Army songs to your wife late at night, but <laughs> it, was, it, was a, it was a good thing. Now, I want to talk basically about the two of you in the show. Now, what is going on, lads? Yeah. What, between not us two? Yeah. Basically I wish we knew. Nothing. So Gina's not got an eye? Well, Gina not did have an eye for Bellamy at one time. Mm. But since this um, new Bradley's come mm. into the show. Bradley is... Oh! He's, is he's, he a dish? He's, he's a little tyke, if you ask me. Yes. He's got in the way of what? Could possibly be true love. I yeah, know. I've missed out again, I think. I think Bellamy's missed out. Mm. He's desperate. 
Yes, I Absolutely mean, desperate. When are they going to fix you up with a bird, my love? I don't know. I'm worried about that. Really worried. Even, even Alfred, the dog's a bit, you know, he doesn't stay mm. near me, does he? There's nothing happening, basically. He's got fear, has he? He's got fear. Fear. I don't know what's going to happen, uh, although this year we're hoping that there'll be wedding bells. Yeah. Oh, yeah, so then, think, really, I think Bella and Gina should get to, together. Uh, it's definitely. way overdue. Yeah. I, think, I think Gina thinks Bella is a prat. No, she doesn't. I think so. No, they'll always be friends. But you nice guys yeah. always get labelled prats, don't they? Always get la la what? labelled. 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 Sometimes. Sorry. Which I think is very unfair and harsh. I think there should be more nice men in the world. Nice the banner. But it's not happening, is it? I mean, no, Ma Maggie, it's not happening. Well, the last thing I saw the heartbeat one was it was very saucy. It was raunchy. Mm. It was a bit like long gone. Yeah, Maggie, Maggie and Neil. Mm. Oh, yeah, it's all kicking off there, isn't it? Yeah, you want to watch this Sunday. It's oh. all going on. Really you know what I mean? You know what I mean? Is it a bit all? of a love's triangle. Is it yeah. all going on? Mr. Bradley, again, uh -oh. getting in there. Uh oh. Yeah. Really? Yeah. Mm. Is, is it a nurse and copper? No, nurse and doctor? You know? We don't know. We don't know. He's a bit of a woman. We're going to find out. We start again on Probably. March the second, and uh, we'll find out ourselves because we don't know. We don't know what's going. You don't know what's going to happen. No, no, no. Nothing. It literally, we we don't know. There's a bit of an interest, I think, isn't there? Yep. As to who is going to end up with the nurse. So That's you don't right. get scripts until just before. We don't get a script until before. We never read them until we even turn up on set. Those new sort of raunchy stuff that's going on, all the steamy, sexy stuff. Um, do you think the show, like Emmerdale, is going to go through one of these sort of transitional phases where suddenly, you know, there's going to be big shootouts, there's going to be loads of glamorous sex and rock and roll and... Well, I hope so, cos Bellamy will get a look in then, won't yeah, he? Yeah, absolutely. Overdue. You but, um, I don't know, in Yorkshire, like you said, it's very calm up there, isn't it? It's, Although yeah. there's a crime every week. So it's not that calm. And it's it? supposed to be the 60s, for Pete's sake. Well, I mean, where's the yeah, flower power? Free love. Where's exactly, exactly. Where's free, exactly. Where's expression? Where's just getting about in your wherewithals and just, you know, shaking I don't know. all around? I'm game. I'm game for do it. Do you like the show? I do like the show. But I tell you what, I can't, what I want to see from, from, from the show is, because it's been going, what, eight years now? Something seven. Like that. Seven, seven, seven years. years. Soon you're going to have to go into the 70s. Mm. Well, that you know, real. Flares. <laughs> so, big flares. Big flares. Yeah. Crushing, big. sort of, maybe corduroy, crushing at the nethers, but widening out to a large bell <laughs> bottom at the bottom. A yep. bit of a boogie night sort of scenario going on, Don't you on, reckon? I think. Mm. We've been stuck in 19... What's it? <laughs> 68. No. Is it 68? Yeah, yeah. If you drive the bubble car, so it must be. Oh, yeah. Mid 60s. Yeah. They're about. Mid 60s. Yeah. I don't Mate, know. We've got a new police car now. We've got that blue and white police car. Did you see it on Sunday? That's our first one. We you used to drive around in a minivan. But we've got, got the new. I know. They were. And the other thing is, you've got no back seat as well. You've only got like this little. It's a, it's a shell. It's like a van. So presumably, all the big burly villains had to go in the back of that. And, uh, you know, it doesn't make sense, really. They'd be a bit close really. to comfort, yeah. wouldn't they, really? Mm. They'd be sort of jumping around you. I think. So we've, gone, we've progressed a little. We're getting nearer to the 70s. We've got a modern car now with back seats. Mm. So presumably comfort for the criminal. You want a, you want a camper van next with sort of psychedelic print <laughs> yeah. on it when you hit the yeah. 70s and we're going to just sort of we're chill the out. fuzz. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> but we're letting you off because it's yeah. chilling, man, and all that sort of stuff. Why is it we called love you. Heartbeat? Uh, <laughs> well, what do you th I'll say first what I think. Why Pressure. I think. Heart represents the medical side. Good. Okay. Mm -hmm. And the beat represents the police side. Ah. Absolutely. But you didn't know that, did you? I did not know that. I did not know. Yeah. So it's a sort of fusion of the medical and the police. And Tate Head Hart on. was called that because he was called Tony Hart. And what he did <laughs> was he, what he was taking was, Heart. was a fairly mediocre premise for a show. <laughs> Good. So that was the fusion hey, there. Tony, if you're watching, I'm sorry. I said I that. <laughs> Talking of 70s TV shows, um, <laughs> Mr. Derek's in the show. Yeah. Derek Del Falls, Del who Del we Del remember as Mr. Derek, yes, Mr. Derek, yes, Mr. Derek. <laughs> <laughs> does, he, does, he ever, does he ever bring Basil out for a bit of a play with him? No. 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 Just, Sonny doesn't just whip out the old Basil. No. He didn't operate Basil. There was an old geezer underneath who did Basil. That's right. Yeah, no, he used to just yeah. take Basil home at the evening. Are you telling me Basil wasn't a real fox? cheeky fox? <laughs> I don't know. He's, he's been keeping that quiet, but he has got another... Um, instrument that he carries oh, around with him, isn't he? Eric. What is it? Eric. Eric the dummy. <laughs> Eric the dummy, which is not quite a fox, admittedly, but he does have it. Eric the dummy. Mm. And he does a very terrible... I shouldn't say that, really, should I? No, he shouldn't. <laughs> he thinks he's very good, but he, he does bring Eric around. And it's not he quite a fox. my way. So he's got a strange mannequin called Eric mm. that he sort of... That he brings, brings everywhere out. with him for the yeah. evenings out. Whatever makes you tick, Derek. That's know, all yeah. I'm saying. It's <laughs> whatever you want. He's a funny man, is Del. Yeah, yeah, he wants to, to get him on the show. Please bring he's Mr. Asked, Derek. He's asked get him on. if we could say, could he, he come on? I'd love to meet yeah? Mr. Derek. Yeah. I would yeah. love, love him. seriously. He'd love you. I seriously need him on the show. He's James Bond's dad, really. We reckon he should be James Bond's dad. Don't we? James Bond's dad? Yeah, Del, he's so hilarious. He's hilarious. You'd have to do your tiger. 
Oh, Derek. <laughs> when he sings, he shakes his head. He goes, I did it my <laughs> way. I think I do that, actually, when I'm singing. So, see, that's the way he sings it. It's funny. No, you do like that. You do, you do an awful lot of filming, don't you? And when it's the, the when you're in season, I was going to say, but that's hey. probably not the best way of putting it. <laughs> when, when the season comes around for you to do heartbeat filming, you're basically in each other's company 24 hours a day, aren't you, really? Yes. Is that a good thing or a bad thing? Yeah. No, it's a good thing. It's great. After seven years now, you'd think that we, we were going to fall out, we'd have, uh, we'd have done so already, but it's the same crew, same actors. I mean, obviously, there's people coming in each week. Yeah. Which is great. We get, like, Aunt Sally coming in. Like, Eunice Aunt Stubbs Sally. comes up. Oh. Yeah. Oh, so we get different brilliant. people each week. So me being, like, fairly young. One of the best ones was um, Jenny Agatha. Yeah. <gasps> she's cool. I yeah. couldn't oh. believe it when I, I met her. I know. I couldn't believe it. I was so star about? Struck out yeah. this. She's amazing. She, well, yeah. yeah. I was exactly. a lovely lady as well. Yeah. I bet she goes a bit nice. of a flutter, though. Obviously with Mark. Well, yeah. I yeah. was a little bit. <laughs> so a bit in awe. Where is the village where you, you actually film the series? We film uh, in Golfland, near Whitby. It's lovely. Lord little Yorkshire. village. It's a beautiful place. Mm. And you actually but stay there while you're filming? We stay there when we're filming, yeah. Yeah. There's nothing to... I mean, this is... There's nothing uh, to do. There's no, well, there's, not, there's loads to do. Loads to do. But, I mean, after seven years now, we've kind of done it all. Yeah. You know, in terms of the walking and the, yeah. the drinking. Scene, we know where everything is. We can take you on guided tours if you're ever up there. Mm. But um, you the start nice thing is, you take it all for granted, though, don't you? Yeah. Well, Cause, sort cause it's of. It's been so long. You never take the bars for granted. Oh, There's no. a nice <laughs> couple. Of, they do a nice couple of hotels either end of the village, and everybody sort of um, bases themselves at either end of the village. And of course, at the evening, there's nothing to do in terms of like. You know. yeah, I'm just play. getting Bob, Bobby okay. Crush. Uh, just get in and out. Keep on so calm. Just auditioning for the film Shine 2 there. <laughs> yeah. Well, listen, join us off the break when we'll be taking a call from Trisha Mark and today's... Sorry, just cutting you off. Oh, so no, sorry. <laughs> and uh, today's celebrity chef, Davina McCall. And Catch will be here making pudding and singing for us. <laughs> and we'll also be revealing a special message which was left mm. on our answer... Oh, there it is. Oh, my <laughs> God. <laughs> on our answer phone. <laughs> See you in three. <laughs> On tomorrow's Light Lunch, Neil Morrissey plus Ballykiss Angel's real-life romance Stephen Tompkinson and Dervla Kerwin. Welcome back now. You know, the crushing debate that's uh, really at the cutting edge of today's society is what are the words to hearts beat? We pose that question in part two, and three of you have been good enough to fax in with your suggestions. So let's have a look. This is number one. This is from Anna in Stoke Poges. Hey. She's the right faxing in. Stoke Poges. Now, she reckons that the words to heartbeat are it's widly pat. So widly to kiss pat, my memory, widly pat. pat. And, 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 and I was going to say, that would be the sort of sound or feeling that happens when your heart flutters. Widly pat, widly pat, widly pat. Mm. OK. <laughs> Donna Rushton faxed in and says she thinks the lyrics are Ridley Pat. It's the same. Yes, it's the same. No, this no, is... No, Widley. Widley. Ridley. Yeah. Ridley Pat and sing to me love story. And bring in that half of Right, now this, this is confirmation indeed. The words are Riddle D. Pat, I have no idea what they mean, but that's what it says in the music. Who's this from? Who's I've this from? chosen to stay anonymous in case anyone finds out I own the sheet music. <laughs> this, this lady or gentleman owns the sheet music and it is Riddle, Riddle D. Pat. Pat. Good. <laughs> Thank Excellent. you. Thank you for faxing in and ending that debate. I'll tidy those away for now. Now, my see. heart is going widdly pat, widdly pat, widdly pat. Do you so know why? Is mine. Because their debut single, we've got a boy band coming on now, their debut single was called Bingo, and no doubt they'll continue to exploit the lucrative OAP market with their follow-up hits, <laughs> Knitting, Bowls, and Queuing at the Post Office on a Monday from 6am. <laughs> Please welcome Toby and Wayne, who are two-thirds of Cash! <laughs> yes! <laughs> Oh, 
the smooth skin of a young boy. Now, <laughs> catch, you are 66.6% Ricker. <laughs> Lovely. Some pants were thrown for catch, but unfortunately they've missed. That's typical. <laughs> Not every time. No catch was made there. 66.6 .6 recurring of, of catch. What's happened to the 33.3? Ben's Ben's deaf, which is what happens when you play guitar too loud. He's played guitar too loud and yeah, deafened himself. He's got deaf, yeah, so he, can't, he wouldn't be able to hear you. He'd be like this. But that's good for me because he'd have to get nearer and I would entice <laughs> him into my web, you see. Ooh. Oh. <laughs> Do you owe me a young whippersnapper? Now, you've said you've gone on record to A, the first thing I want to mention is you three of you have snogged the same lady, haven't you? Yeah, we did. Dirty, kind of. saucy, naughty, but quite exciting. <laughs> now, how did the lady feel? I said, excuse me? Well, when, how did she feel when you all three of you snogged her at the same time? Oh, oh at the same, same time. time. That'd be impossibility. Different times. Kind of different times. So oh. you're talking menage a trois. What we were saying is a bit more like now than... Then now a week later now, and, yeah. and, and, yeah, and then exactly. a bit. Wasn't there a big argy-bargy about that? Well, kind of like it was a party and me and Ben kind of kissed the same girl and then we had a bit of a scuffle, but Toby came in and went, stop it. Yeah, it's like so chill, lads. Sort of like carry on catch. You know, it's like, like a old matron. Was it like the monkeys would say, hey, nothing's worth splitting up the band, guys? So yeah, that... was, and then afterwards we all sort of go, you crazy kids, and we have yeah. a laugh. And, Scooby -Doo. and it's all like spinal tap. Now, you also, apparently, you said you snogged Drew Barrymore. Yes. Well, which is, of course, true. Yes. Very true. <laughs> Very true. I've also snogged, you know, um, Michael Jackson and Joan Collins. And, you know, <laughs> all of them. You've some of the greatest them. stars. Who, which star was the best snogger? It was Michael, you told me. My, yeah, Michael. Michael. For my money, it's Ian Cranky. That's what my <laughs> money is. Every time, you know, call me traditionalist. You've made a pudding. We don't have time to go into that now. It's a beautiful <laughs> bread and butter thing. Do you want to ask one final question? Is it true you like older ladies? <laughs> well, if you pay us right, yeah. <laughs> Excellent. A couple of pennies will be winging their way <laughs> to somebody else. Now, you'll be singing for us later on. No, later on, Lance, you're going to be giving us a little bit of your oral. We're good oral. Be, excuse me. <laughs> we're rocking, OK? We're going to be rocking. They're going to be rocking the house, all right, later on. But uh, for now, we're going to go over to Melly. Cheers for catch. A big scream for the lovely laddies. Ah! Of them. <laughs> OK, now, Melly, how much does it cost to make a police drama series? I won't know, Sue, until I've seen the bill. <laughs> Disgust from the audience. <laughs> I heard a sort of, ugh. <laughs> I'm here in the lounge with Mark, Trisha and Davina and I've opened my Prezi. It's a really nice look. Aww. It's a little, it's a little thing. It's a green Green feet. Hey. Now, lads, welcome to the lounge, by the way. Good this to see you good. in mm. there. Yeah, it's nice. Pudding. Delicious. Davina, are you, yes. a big, are you a big fan of, uh, of Heartbeat yourself? Um, I have seen it. I don't actually, I'm not what I'd say a regular, you know, I don't just never come out with it. Recipe. Yeah. Get it you, don't, you don't watch. No, I do, I do, but I'm not, you know, I don't know sort of every in and out. Yeah. Rushing but on. I know Nick's not there anymore. No, no. Nick Saddles. Berry. Well, how is Nick? Fantastic. Is he... oh. Nick Colas Berry. Does, yeah. does he keep in touch? Mm. Is he yeah. really in Canada? No. He's watching right he's in, now. Is he? Is he? Is he? Oh, is he always in? Hello, Hello. Lily. Is he really? Hello. Hello. Now, Hello, Rachel. Uh, <laughs> Mark. <laughs> Making up a lot of lost ground now. <laughs> Mark, you were, you were, um, you were uh, quite keen to uh, come on the show, weren't you? Yes, I was. How oh. keen were you, Mark? Embarrassingly clean. Oh. Clean. Clean. <laughs> <laughs> Shall we have a little listen to the tape that was found on our aunt's machine, this message on this tape? Yeah, yeah. 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 Problem with the phones. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Cordless phone. Yeah. Uh, were, you, were, were you slightly half cut there, Mark? <laughs> no, no, <laughs> fully. You were fully. absolutely fully, fully cut. Fully. Were you in one of those? Don't hotels? do it by halves. All on. Were you in the sort of piano -y hotel that you? I was doing Bobby crushing. <laughs> you were Bobby crushing. And we was in up and out hotel. <laughs> yeah. All right. Okay. <laughs> so I had to log in the call at I, two a.m. Yes. <laughs> yes. I'm a bit delayed constantly. You normally advertise in the afternoon. If you've got any, you know, ring this number, and it takes me a while. <laughs> Remember the number, how to use the phone, and eventually I got through, but by then, slewed. Oh, Absolutely slewed. Yeah, oh, we're very so pleased no. you called, yes. and we're very pleased that all of you have called as well, because we're going to go to the phones now. Good link. <laughs> <laughs> the phones have been ringing cheese. like phones. Let's go to line one. <laughs> <laughs> Is that Ashley? Yeah. Hey, Ashley. Hey, Ashley. How you doing? All right, sir. OK. Who, yeah. who's, who's your question? Oh, you don't sound too good. Are you all right? A bit rough. Are you? You sound yeah. quite cool, though. Yeah, very cool. 
Who, who's your question for? For all of them, really. Yeah, go for it. Go what? for it. What or who makes your heart beat? Oh. Oh, good one. Uh, what or who? Tricia. Oh, hey. Eh? Do I have to be first? Go on, mate. You can just make it up if you like. Okay. You can say Bubbles, the monkey, I'll if you want. I'll tell you who I like. <laughs> Andy Garcia. <gasps> yes, snap. Yes. It makes my heart beat a snap. little bit fast. He's very small. Is, have, you, have you met He's him, Davina? He's the Devin? size of that. Davina's met him, lad. Davina's met him. What's he like? What's he like? <gasps> Interviewed him. Really nice guy. But very, very small and quite oh. stocky. Big. Yeah. yeah. Really? Uh, no, didn't snog him, no. Mm. Generally try not to do that when I'm interviewing somebody because <laughs> it tends to make them kind of step back a bit for some reason. Yeah, You're a more know. professional person than I am, yeah. that's all I'm saying. <laughs> what about you, Mark? Who makes your heart beat? Or what makes your heart beat? I got oh. married in, in August. Congratulations! Oh. Oh. To so my lovely wife, Siobhan. Siobhan rocks! She's great. She rocks. Say hello, Siobhan. Hi, yes. Siobhan. Hello, Siobhan. Hi, Siobhan. Hello, Siobhan. Hi, Siobhan. Hi, Siobhan. 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 Okay, <laughs> let's go to uh, let's go to line two. Line two? Who's on line two? Is it Billy? Hello. Hi. Billy. Hi. How are you doing, mate? Yeah, my question's for Davina. Oh. Um, I wanted to know, Davina, what was the most fun you actually had on God's Gift? Ha <laughs> <laughs> <coughs> um, It was probably the gay ones, actually, that Ooh. I did. <coughs> I've just choked. Are you alright? On my licorice all sorts. I'm just not into that, but anyway. <laughs> do, 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 so, so sorry. <laughs> but um, yeah, because they were the funniest. You know, they were they were they were the easiest, by the way, with the chat up lines and stuff. You know, the girls were always like, "No, I'm sorry, you're going to have to do better than that." And the girls were like, yeah, okay, yeah, let's right. go back to your place, yeah. <laughs> I was like, come on, put up a fight, please. <laughs> so that was the most fun I had. That's right. Thanks, Great Billy. God's gift, let rock. Asking. Cheers for calling in, Billy. Bye. 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 Mary Lou on line three. <coughs> Melanie. Is it Melanie? Hello. Hello, is that Melanie? Yes, it is. Hey, what, are you a Melly, a Mel, a Melzy, or a Melons? I'm actually a Melba. Mel oh, Imelda. Melba. Imelda. Melba. Yes. Right. Yes. Okay. Crashing on. Um, <laughs> who's, who's, who's your question for, Melba? Uh, Trisha, the barmaid. Hello. You from Wales by any chance? No, I'm actually from Newcastle. Oh, Newcastle! <laughs> Newcastle! <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, why no, I'm I'm Stop. Why are you I... from Ireland, darling? <laughs> <laughs> What's your question, Melba? Um, who is your best friend on the show, Heartbeat? Oh, they're all my best mates, I have to say. Oh. But I especially, <laughs> especially... Go on, go on, go on. Who, who, who? I love Alfred the dog. It's Alfred, Alfred the dog. The dog. Doggy Beautiful. woman. I got the answer. We've run out of yeah. time to like hold you. our guests without charging them, which means we either have to arrest them or let them go. Sue, you write the confessions, I'll forge their signatures. Wilco, Melanie Gedroyd, will I do that? Don't forget, you can catch up with those retro goings-on up north in Heartbeat, 8pm Sunday evening, to find out if Mark and Trish Get it on. And look Bang out for Davina. On. Sorry, problem with my nose. Look out for Davina and Darren's new series coming soon on ITV. Of course, now, with mucus. You saw two thirds of them earlier. Here's all three of them doing what they do best with their new single, Dive In. Please welcome, once again, Catch! <laughs> With a tongue like bitter wine Cut through a thousand dreams of mine Sentimental education Bleeding out of desperation Bailed in comparison To all the things she'd seen and done She said, you're okay So I'm okay Be my refuge, prayer and bread With these words she took me bad Still waters run deep So die Story changed, she did time and time again. Made herself that home in me, but wouldn't dare give back the key. I challenged her for what she done. Is this your idea of fun? She turned around, but just to say that I should try it too one day. I said goodbye, so now we're through. Before I knew just what to do, strike me back inside her room.
Oh, for, I'm afraid. Sorry about that. You can join us tomorrow when we've got Neil Morrissey, we've got Bally Kiss Angel, Stephen yeah. Tomkinson. Yes! <laughs> yes, indeed! Would I lie to you? Dervila Cohen will be on the show. Check us out. Have a fantastic Good evening. night. See you tomorrow. <laughs> Valentine's is over, but...